I have been slacking in my playtime. I thought I would test out some new components. I bought some arcade buttons. I was always looking at just trying these little press button. Um, do I have them somewhere under? Nah. Yeah, yeah, I do. Uh, trying little press push buttons for devices. And then I saw Stu Lowe using these big arcade things. And I thought, well, why am I trying to use those tiny, that tiny little button if I don't need to? So I bought some big arcade buttons and just uh, wire them up, make sure that they're working, that they work fine with this. I also have a new uh, Electro, Freak, Electro Freaks Octopus bit. It's like an edge connector. It's in order to get at all the pins. Because again, on the micro bit, we have all these pins, but only zero, one, two, three, uh, zero, one, and two are easily accessible with alligator clips. The other ones are really small and hard to get to. So you get an edge connector that pops out all the pins, and then you can easily wire to them. Uh, two things with the Electrofreaks board one, it has a switch here that is supposed to be able to switch the second half of these pins. The ones that are in blue, that would be uh, 8, 9, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, to 5 volts, because some things want 5 volts. I know like NeoPixels work better in 5 volts, and um, a lot of distance sensors, ultrasonic sensors, uh, want 5 volts. And even um, like a uh, an LCD array, which is really an I squared C device, needs 5 volts. So that's why they've got that little switch there. I haven't tested it yet, but we're hoping for it. And also, as I go look here, um, often other boards I've seen have one I2C input, output, and this one has three. So just a little different thing. So I've got these buttons here. Buttons have two connectors. Sometimes limit switches have three. It's a normally open, normally closed, and then... Um, or the, the ground one uh, but this limit switch only has two this button uh, it's hope you're hoping to uh, get some grip in between here and here to uh, lock something in place this one actually has this little nut that screws up and down to hold into place um, side aside do different ones now, and buttons, since there's only two connectors, one goes to ground, this side's ground, and the other side goes to the pin, and it doesn't matter which of the connectors are connected to ground or pin. So, that works easily that way. I just have a little program on the micro bit. Uh, when I press button one, when I press pin one, light up those LEDs, and when I press button two, light up the other ones. And then if I press A, clear it. So I'm probably going to set up that reaction game that Stu Low um, has on the web for us to play with. So there we go.